I'll show you how to use the black and white adjustment in Affinity Photo. We can add it to our image by going to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Black and White. This converts an image to black and white, allowing you to control the mix or contribution of specific color ranges. For example, if I just hide the adjustment temporarily, we have some significant blue and cyan tones in the sky and water here. If I show the adjustment again, then reduce the cyan and blue sliders, this creates more contrast between the land, water and sky. I can increase the yellow contribution to brighten up areas on the land, and do the same with the green contribution. Black and white conversions are sometimes quite practical for imagery with difficult lighting and tones. The lighting in this low light urban photograph is quite monotonous and not particularly pleasing. I'll add a black and white adjustment, this time using the default keyboard shortcut. On Mac, that's Shift Option Command B. And on Windows, it's Shift Control Alt B. Since this image is comprised mainly of red and yellow tones, we can experiment with the top two sliders to create quite a dramatic black and white image. Rather than just creating monochrome images, the black and white adjustment is also very useful when combined with blending options. For example, I'll add a black and white adjustment to this image, and then set its blend mode to multiply. This darkens the overall image, but I can now control tones further using the contribution sliders. So I'm increasing cyan and blue here to bring out detail on the insect without affecting the other tones in the image. I can actually reduce the red and yellow sliders to further separate the subject from the background. Then I can also use the overall opacity to control the strength of the adjustment. A final example then. This time I will add a black and white adjustment and set its blend mode to luminosity. Now this is a really powerful technique that allows us to control the brightness of color ranges. The default values are too bright, so we will reduce all of the sliders roughly by the same amount. And now I can fine tune the brightness of the rhododendrons here and further darken the leaves and the background detail. Increasing the blue slider creates a nice contrast between the flower detail and the leaves. And again, the overall strength of this effect is controllable with the layer opacity here. So I can quickly move the slider back and forth until I find a balance that I like. Now also, don't forget to experiment with other blend modes for a variety of interesting effects. You could even try the normal blend mode and just vary the opacity. So that was a quick look at the black and white adjustment. Thank you for watching.